Okay, we're going to try a different capture system called Camtasia. See how that works. I was getting annoyed with that sound not linking up properly. We'll pick up where we left off with Ring 2 Part B. Now we have the ring hollowed out, and a lot of you may say that's great, it's hollowed out. But with my mill, I can't cut out like that. I'm not. We could grow it. You could send it to a grower, and they could do the hollow part, but you can't do it on your mill. I'm going to show you how you can mill this ring on 3-axis mill, complete with the hollowed out section. Let's go to our front viewport, double click it, expand it out to the full screen size. Let's make two circles. Now these are our tabs. We're going to make the tabs extrude, copy, and lock. So we'll go over here to our circle command, right, click our circle command. And let's just put some, you can turn off the snap in the, right now. Let's just put a circle. It can be any shape, but we'll use circles for right now. And I like that's fine. Highlight that. Come over here to your transform menu. Right click it. And once again, we're going to use the mirror. Go to mirror. Let's put our snap and ortho on. Go to the center of your ring. Let's pick that and there we are. Now let's highlight those two. Hold the shift down and select the other one. There we go. Let's take it up and get four viewports. Go over here to our extrude menu once again command. You're going to use it a lot. Remember where it is. Right click. And there is your extrude right there. Click it. This time both sides no. In my top viewport I'll zoom in a little bit. Take it up out wherever you like. That's fine right there. Click it. Now you'll see that the yellow circles are still highlighted. We can cut those. We don't need those anymore. There we go. Now again let's highlight our two tabs we made. We're gonna copy. So we'll go over here to our copy. Copy. Go up to the top window, top command line, in place, just click it. I want to copy those in place. So instead of two, we now have four there. Let's lock them. Go up here to the padlock and just left click it. Now anything we do, well let me do it again because we have to lock all four. Because there was four there instead of two. One more time, lock. And there. You have all four of them locked. So anything that we do, Anything that's locked will not be affected by the lock, will not be affected by the uh, command because they're locked. Let's take a wire cut, wire cut the ring, and we're going to keep all this time. Go to the top viewport. Let's go to our line command. S snap an orthos on. Let's find the center of the ring there, and let's just make a line all the way through the ring. All right. Now let's go to wire cut right here right click that go right click and hold and there's our wire cut once again select the cutting curve as our line select our poly surface that's that this time we're going to cut in the y direction go up to the top change your direction to y y and press enter to cut all the way through it are we in the Y direction? Let me just see if we're in Y. Make sure. We should be. I'm sorry. I meant the Z direction. Change that. Okay. Change it to Z. That's what we need. There. Z direction. We'll cut all the way through. Now, keep all at the top. Change that to yes. We want to keep it all. And click it. Let me show you what we've done in the perspective view, just so you'll know. I'll just take this one and I'll drag it way away. Right now, there we have our hollowed out ring. One half. Let me go back. Undo. Just let you know there. Now, let's unlock 
go to the lock again and let's unlock our tabs they're unlocked now let's boolean difference one side and then we're going to boolean join the other side so let's go over here to our boolean difference right click it go here click it let's pick one half I'll work in the right viewport well it doesn't matter we'll work it I'll pick it there for right now press enter for our second set now let's pick one here one poly surface there and let's pick the other one over here poly surface and enter when done now let's see what we've done here Let me move that out a little farther for you so you can see what we've got here. I'll double click that so you can really see. There's one half, all right? One half. We have holes, negative holes in that half. All right? Now let me just undo this again, get it back to where it was. And let's see, there we go. Now let's do the other half. So let's Boolean union the other half. So let's click the other half right there. We're going to go over to here and just click it. Left click it, Boolean union. Select the surfaces. So let's try it again. It didn't highlight it. Let's highlight again. And there we go. And enter. I'm sorry, we'll have to do that one more time. We're going to Boolean Union. Here we go. And we're going to click this half. And then highlight your other two tabs. And hit Enter. Now let's see what we have here. Perspective View. Just to show you what we've created. We have two locking tabs and two negative holes for them to fit into. Let me go back to get out of perspective and let me undo. There we go. Now in the right viewport highlight the whole ring. Come over here to rotate. Pick your center of your ring again, snap an ortho on, and rotate it one time here, like that. Very good. Now, in the front viewport, let's just pick our top half, our top half of the ring, and let's flip it over with our rotate once again. Rotate 2D. This time, pick spot right there drag it out ortho and let's flip it over just like that and there we have it now let's move it over just a little bit with our arrow keys all right and go up to our front viewport double click that and let me turn the grid off I'll right click and I'll just go here to grid grid options. We'll just turn the grid off right now. Select OK. I'll go to my perspective, blow it up there. There you have your ring split in half. All you'd have to do is add your tabs for milling, support structure tabs. Mill it out. Then super glue the two halves together and you can the ring would be finished or you can then do it if you have a fourth access machine you can do a complete outer rotary keep that in mind apply it when you need it let's go on from here to our next ring